well, I've pressed the record button so um, there's no little numbers showing up to say it's recording, but I'm trusting that it is. So, so hi, it's Sarah here from The Hardest Movement and I've just had this wonderful insight. Um, it's kind of a shaking me shaking me up a little bit um, so I've heard something said which I'm sure I've heard it said before I've probably even said it before but for whatever reason it's been heard on a different level and it's making me um, like tingly and Almost a kind of a, an, an, an uneasiness, yet an excitement as well. And the uneasiness, I think, is because it's difficult for my um, little mind to fathom what it means and it's still trying to process is what I've just finally realised fully a full body kind of knowing is this going to mean something you know harmful of course it doesn't I mean, that's just you know it doesn't mean anything harmful at all it's absolutely brilliant um but yeah I just love how straight away because we are human beings that that live in the feeling of our thinking of course my thinking is kind of like going 10 to the dozen um, with this new insight so what is the insight well like I said you've probably heard this before my daughter's just calling me she's okay though um, yeah so I'm all about discovering who I am and supporting other people to know themselves as well, their true self. And it was in um, 2012 when I finally had the insight that this search, beforehand it felt like a search, like I was on a mission to discover something, that somebody, somebody out there must have the answer and I need to find it. And in 2012, I had the full knowing that there was nothing to do. There was nothing to search for. There was no magical answer out there that I needed to find. Everything, you know, I already, I already have everything, if you want to use the word have. It's not about having anything. <laughs> it just, there just is nothing to do just be and I know that can, can sound a bit trite but 